what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the Hey guys, we're on a new episode of Talk of the Town Today we got a special guest yes, sir. Official drama Yes sir, thank you for having me on your platform You gotta say official or people could just call you drama? It's official drama Oh, every time? Yeah, every time. They got to <laughs> okay. know it's real. Okay, all right. <laughs> so we're going to play a game. I'm going to ask you a question. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. What's your sign? Aries. Favorite color? Purple. Favorite power couple? Hmm. Got me on that one. I'm not a fan <laughs> of relationships. So who a popular relationship you think? Like, I think I like cool. I like ASAP Rock and Rihanna. Okay. All right. Favorite artist right now? Favorite artist right now? I'll go with Boogie. That's the Bronx energy I'm feeling. Okay, favorite <laughs> meal to cook? You be cooking? I don't cook. I could cook up a mean sandwich, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so your favorite meal to eat? Lasagna. You be on TikTok? A little bit. You have a favorite TikTok sound right now? Not really. Okay. Not really. Okay. Um, What's one world record you think you could break? A world record? Mm-hmm. It's a really interesting question. World record I could break. It's something that you're really good at. That I'm really good at. <laughs> I could probably record more songs in a day. Okay. All right. Um, one artist you want to collab with? That I want to collab with. That's a good question. I'm not really a fan of people, but I like some people. Mm -hmm. Um, That I want to collab with. Yes, that you want to collab with anybody in the world. Go cliche and say Drake. Why is that cliche? You can want to collab with Drake. I do, but it's just that I know everybody's gonna go with that. Nobody ever said Drake. Really? Yeah, nah. I mean, it's just the lane I'm in. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I do melodic music and I do like commercial shit. So I get I've been getting little baby a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little baby's dope. I fuck with baby. Yeah. Okay. Biggest pet peeve. Biggest pet peeve. Something you hate. Yep. Hmm. Biggest pet peeve. I hate when people always asking for shit. Okay. That mad annoying. Yeah. Okay. So what are three traits of a New York girl? A New York girl? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Attitude. Um, loud. And um aggressive. Damn, all <laughs> all bad stuff, <laughs> mind you. I'm sorry, ladies, Sheesh. but that's how it be. Okay, I guess. Um, one sentence for your ex. Repeat that. One sentence for your ex. What up, bro? <laughs> 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 no, I'm playing. Um, one sentence for her. Um, keep doing your thing, live life. Um, last thing you spent money on. Last thing I spent money on was uh, some clothes. I'm lying. Bottles in the spot. Bottles in the spot was the last thing you bought. Yeah, that was like two days ago. Okay. And what is your favorite song? On your project? My favorite song on my project is Lonely as Winter, for sure, by far. Okay. All right, so walk us to the beginning. How you got into music? I got into music because, so my brother, long story short, was the rapper of the family. Like, he was rapping in Spanish and shit. I wasn't really the rapper, but... Your brother younger or older than you? He's older than me, and he was doing Spanish music. Mm -hmm. And my mom was... So it came from a musical background. My great-grandma that passed, she, she did, like, ballad in Spanish. My mom, like, did poetry and shit, you know what I'm saying? Poetry, yeah. So, like, it was always in the bloodline, but I was never really in tune until I was like, all right, let me play around when I was a little kid. Me and my neighbors and shit, we would, like, we would, like, play around. Mm -hmm. It was nothing serious, but, like, one day, like, they t in the hood, they took me to record in a professional studio when I was, like, around somewhere in my teens, and I made some shit. And they like, yo, you better as well keep trying. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, I just ran with it. Okay, did you see something else for yourself, or you always saw music? Um... I thought I was going to be a ball player, son. I was ever. Yeah, like, I'm Dominican, <laughs> like so I was the only one that played ball. Everybody okay. was thinking baseball, but, like, you know, I, I, did, I did basketball in high school, so that's where I came from, so I thought okay. it was going to be something. So what stirred you to not do Spanish? To be honest with you. So you wanted to be different? Or? Um, my Spanish, you know, it's funny, I, Spanish was my first language, mm -hmm. but for some reason, I feel like my Spanish was never really it. Like, I felt like my <laughs> okay. Spanish wasn't too like saucy to do music in it you know what i'm saying okay, so okay. once i took once i got really good in english i was like yeah this is not happening what's the what's the saucy spanish i don't get it like like you just got a certain like 
the How words got a like, kick. I don't it's know. Not even the words got a kick. It's just like you could tell when somebody's really good at Spanish Fluent. with the way it flows. Mm. And I don't. I, I never thought I had that, but like I'm Dominican. Like I got the source, so mm. it's like, but it didn't. I don't know. It wasn't going for me, or I don't know if it's me be- beating myself up because you know mm. some people like to critique themselves a lot. Okay. It wasn't so going like for me. some artists kind of like do some in Spanish and some rapping. You think you would do that? Or? You know what's funny. I just did that recently. You just did that recently? Just did it, literally. I was like, because like, that's not on the project. Yeah, it's not on the project, but it's coming. It's coming. Okay. Yeah, it's coming. All right, so what inspired this project? All right, Last of the Real. That's a great question. Last of the Real, is, this, is, this is like a triple entendre when it comes to that name. Mm-hmm. So Last of the Real, I feel like, I not even feel, I know, like, I'm a real nigga. And, like, I feel like I have the last of music with real substance when it comes to where I'm from. Mm. No disrespect to what everybody got going on out there. I, I like what people got going on, you know what I'm saying? But in my side, it's like, I don't really see people doing, like, commercial music. I don't see people doing melodic music. I don't see people showing their true emotions. I don't see, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and then, when it, and then Last of the Real for the third time, it's like, y'all see what's going on nowadays in music where it's going? Look at the, look at what I did with the, unintentionally, intentionally, I made this project on some, like, and you saw the apocalypse theme of the background of my project? The background? Yeah. yeah. So, you see what's going on in today's music with the AI? Yeah. That's not crazy to you? Yeah, I've been saying, you're doing animation stuff too. Like, you've been doing So, <laughs> with AI, people are doing fake music. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, unintentionally, intentionally, I did that. Knowing some, the, the music was going to do something crazy in the future. And this is me telling you, I got the last of the real music. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. You get it? Yeah, like... Okay, like, when you say real music, you're still going as far as substance and everything, Substance, right? the feel, emotion, transparency. Okay. Yeah. And so what makes you, like, want to open up and be vulnerable in your music? Because people kind of, like, hide it or try to make a gimmick or troll stuff. So yeah. So what makes you want to be 100% honest in your music? Because it's, it's so hard to not be yourself. I can't keep up with, with faking <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be myself. I don't want to be like nobody. I don't want to... And it's like, sooner or later, somebody's going to call you bluff that that's not you. Mm-hmm. So it's either, it's either somebody that knows you or personally, family member, a friend, they're going to, you know what I'm saying? So, um, what I'm saying, the last of the real, mm-hmm. okay, you said, it's, you said it's hard to be fake, I guess. It is hard to be <laughs> fake. It is, for real. I just feel like sooner or later, somebody's going to be like, that's not true. Like, why are you, why are you acting like something that you're not? And it's just like, I can't, I can't keep up with it. Like, yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard to to just like talk about something that I didn't relate to. You know what I'm saying? It's easy yeah. it's easy for me to say real life situations, things I go through, things I heard about, or things I saw, mm-hmm. instead of just trying to come up with some shit that's it's not gonna work for me. Not for me at least. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, but you feel like because some people kind of say that they use that in a sense of marketing. Mm-hmm. So you don't feel like you even want to go that extreme to even market your music. Nah, I mean, I never been an antics type of nigga. You okay. know what I'm saying? So you're not with the gimmicks. Yeah, I wasn't with the gimmicks. I wasn't with the trolling. I feel like my talent speaks for itself. Okay. Yeah, like. All right. And what do you think makes you stand out from like other artists? What makes me stand out? I just feel like I have a unique sound. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be like nobody. Like, I don't want to sound like nobody. I want to be me, like for real. Like, what, what everybody got going on is cool. I fuck with it. I'm inspired. I love it. But mm-hmm. I like what I got going on. I love who I am as a person. Okay. Yeah. And then, like, are you... I feel like in this project had a little bit of, like, everything in a sort of sense. But like mm-hmm. you said, you was being, you know, vulnerable and stuff like that. Yeah. So what makes you, like... What makes you know you want to rap about a certain situation? That's a good question. Um, when I listen to beats, mm-hmm. I fake catch a, a vibe, like, off the first five seconds, like, where this is going to go, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't write my music. I punch in. Like, okay. So, whatever comes to mind, mm-hmm. that feeling, we keep in that vibe. Mm-hmm. And just, from there, the rest is history. So, most of these songs, it's just shit I was going through in the moment. This project, I made it when I was in the dark ass space. Like, I don't know if you caught that vibe. So, most of it is like, me, 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 I'm talking about breakup, me talking about, uh, everybody's a dub, I'm doing my own thing, me talking mm-hmm. about, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, the, the, just the, the time that I was going through was what that project spoke about. Right. Okay, so what made you 
Well, did you have to cut it down? Because you got 11 songs. Did you want less or did you want more? <laughs> I'm gonna repeat that. Did you want less songs or you wanted more songs? Or did you I'm gonna be honest with you? I'm gonna be hundred percent honest with you. Cause I was trying to go more. Cause you saying you could record the most songs in a day. So I'm sure you had a lot of songs yeah. you have to choose from. Yeah, so I, that process of elimination was annoying as hell. <laughs> because I'm mad biased. Every time I make new music, I always feel like the ne- the new one is way better than the last, last one. Song. Because like that's just that's, how I am. everything. And then I had I had a there's a song in that project that's five years old. Little do right. people know, but yeah, it fell again. Little do people know, but that's how just ahead of the game I am. You know what I'm saying? Like I still had today's sound a long time ago. Yeah, that's not a bad thing though. Some people's songs blow up years later. That's a fact. But the thing about me as an artist, I listen to my music all the time. Mm-hmm. So when I listen to it so much, so much, so much, I don't want to hear this shit no more. I get tired of it. But to somebody else, it's so brand new mm-hmm. that they're like, "Yo, this is fire." I'm like, yeah. "That's on. I'm been over that shit." Yeah. That's why that's why it's bad having a lot of unreleased in the tuck. <laughs> it's hard to decide for what to drop. Exactly. It's hard to decide what you drop, and then you don't even, you're not feeling that song no more, but literally, do you know that might be the one? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I feel like you kind of answered this question, but in speaking out, you said, I'm too real for this industry. Have <laughs> you feel like you had some like bad industry situations? Yeah. yeah. Word? Yeah. So what was one situation that I guess you learned, or one lesson you learned? From the industry itself. Um, as fucked up as it sounds, like, you can't say how you feel with certain people mm-hmm. because they're going to take it so offensive and you're, bas- you're basically blocking a, a bridge. You're burning that bridge and you're basically, you're basically, like, in a sense, you could black you could blackball yourself saying, the, saying how you really feel about people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm the type of person that, I never held my tongue. Like, I'm to be honest with you, I don't bottle up emotions. Yeah. I've never been that type of nigga. Like, okay. I just I always say how I feel. And with with in this industry, you gotta learn how to like sit back and just play it for what it is. Okay, and so you feel like you don't want to do that, or you... I don't, but it's like I have to. <laughs> okay, so what advice I guess you would give someone that's coming up in the industry? I guess. Like you said, I guess holding down some emotions or trying to figure out how I to... I wouldn't even give them that advice. I would just tell them, like, just be yourself at all times. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah, like, don't fake don't fake this phone for nobody. Like, it's not going to work. Yeah. Yeah. So you had a couple of features on your project. I'm not familiar with these people, but what made you select these people to be on your project? These are the people that I started making music with. Okay. So I always kept it traditional. Every project I make, mm-hmm. this is my second project. second project. I did an EP before, and this is my first like real project. Okay. So O Smith is my brother. That's that's the person I made Burn Sev with. I don't know if you're familiar with Burn Sev. That's a group that I made. It was me and O Smith from the Bronx. Yeah, yeah. Okay. he's from the Bronx. So we did. Um, we brought two sides of the Bronx together, and we was like, "Yo, we gonna take over this whole industry." Mm-hmm. And um, Chevy Langs is another brother that I brought to the to the picture with Burn Sev, and we made it three people. Snotty is one of the bros that always been around. He just started making music. Bro is nice. Okay. So it's always been so tradition. You Traditionally, I always yeah. kept my bros around. Like okay. as far as music. Do you care to like outreach to other people, or do other people have other people been checking in with you? Or um, I'm sorry. Other artists. Do they check in with me? Yeah, like have artists been reaching out to collab, or you yeah, been reaching out to people to collab? But I'm or? I'm just so selective on who to work with. Selective so like based on what? Like based on their energy. It's not, it's not, it's not even the talent. Music. It's just it's not even on talent. It's just like, do you take music serious? Like. Mm. I got, if I'm a stamp, if I'm going to put my name on something, like, I'm not just going to do a song with somebody that just want to bullshit and just be like, oh, he's doing shit. Let me just work with him. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. not going to not gonna work like that. Okay. And do you hold your friends to the same standard? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. I always be on top of them. Like, <laughs> just because somebody's paying you $400 for a verse don't mean you got to take it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's a dub. Okay. So is there any artists out there that you want to collab with? In the city? In the city, mainstream, whoever. I don't look forward to, like, I don't... If it comes, it comes. Like, <laughs> say a name, bro. Say a couple names that you like. Uh, people I would work with. Yeah, mainstream. Mainstream. Maybe I work with Boogie. Okay. I work with Boogie. Okay. Uh, who else? Who do you be listening to besides yourself? Don't do that. Who it I be listening to? Girl, it could be a boy. It could be you know what I'm saying. Whoever. I don't listen to too much music. You don't listen to music. I listen to music, but I don't listen to too much. Like I don't be searching up on my phone, like whatever. Word. Yeah, I swear, I'm so weird like that. Like I, you know what it is? I don't try to get inspired by other people's sounds, and that happens often. Little do you know. 
No, I see that happening. Yeah. So, so you kind of like just kind of got to feel a vibe. To create? Yeah. Yeah and no, because you can make something from nothing. Yeah, but I'm saying, so you got to be in the mood, basically. To record? Yeah. Type. Yeah. Type shit? Okay. I don't, I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to force it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. And what, I guess, your project, mm -hmm. for the real. Yeah. So what, I guess, what place or what space would you want people to hear this project? And what should be the first one that they listen to? Or should they go in order? They should go in order. <laughs> I want them to feel it from the top. Okay. Yeah, I want them to feel the whole. So from vibe. beginning to yeah. bottom. But do you have a favorite? Uh, yeah, yeah. My What's your favorite? Loneliest winner. Okay. And do you have a song you feel like a slept on on there, like that you put your time in? You feel like people ain't showing enough love. Yeah. On my mind. Okay. Yeah, because that song I feel like is so good, and like I don't know for some reason it's not everybody else's like favorite the way I feel about it. Okay. Cause I really like that song like a lot, a lot. Okay. So for people to be like, yeah, that song is good, but I like this one. I'm like, oh shit. Okay. So does that conflicting when picking out what songs to drop? Yeah. Does some people fuck with this. Some people fuck with that. Yeah. You know what's my thing too? Like, I don't put out music for people. Like, I mm -hmm. always made music on some like I like this song. So if y'all like it, thank y'all that y'all like it. But I put out music that I want to hear. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's more therapeutic for you. Exactly. Okay. Cool. Exactly. All right. So what's your plans for the rest of the year? For the rest of the year, I'm just trying to build enough of a, of a big enough catalog to raise that stock, and we're going to get right and shake the industry up, respectfully speaking. Okay. And what's the label called again? Burn Sav. Burn Sav? Yeah. Okay. And um, so it's you and how many other artists? It's me and two artists. Two artists? Okay. Yeah. You on a project? Yeah. Chevy Langs and O. Smith. Okay. All right, cool. So tell people where to find you. How could they tune in? You can find me on all DSPs, Official Drama. On Instagram, you can find me at Official Drama. YouTube, Official Drama. TikTok, Official Drama BVR. 